what I don't like that YouTube is doing is when there's a beef lyrically between one of us, YouTube is paying an artist to re- to respond. And I personally know that. And now now that I know who's behind it, it makes sense. So now 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 YouTube is cashing in on rap beef and they're paying people to respond. What type of shit is that? Now what happens if somebody gets hurt? Hmm. Wow. And then and now I'm no now I'm like it must be Leo. Because that's what they've been doing. Whenever we got a beef with each other, they actually and look and, and that's what they do. They make it where we have a beef with from each other with each other so they can profit. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. I know the wind cutting out here, but we still got to get the job done. Freezing temperatures out here next time, but we got to get the content out for the people, man. Rain, sleet, or snow. But uh, Tax Stone went to Twitter, and I'm going to read those tweets in just a second. He's currently in the feds, but he spoke out about the New York drill scene and just drill music in general as it relates to the record labels and the dudes behind the scenes who really taking the big bag off of it and let it let his displeasure displeasure be known. Uh the video I played in the beginning was Dave Dash calling to the Joe Budden podcast and I thought about that that episode when this came up because I remember when it went on where he was like man YouTube is now paying these artists to beef these people behind the scenes be encouraging these artists to beef because they look at it like it'll spike the sales and everything like that. Now, me specifically, I'm not going to put that directly on a specific person like a Lee or Cohan. I don't know what goes on and how the actual conversation goes in these record label offices. And I don't know who does what. I don't know who presses go. But I do understand that a big part of this game is marketing strategy. So, I do feel that these record labels capitalize off of beef. Now, some of these rappers, they are coming out this game, coming into the game with beef that already go on the streets in their neighborhoods, especially in this generation now when they dissing the dead ops. So they they dissing the uh, the block they into it with and they talking to their ops and music. These things be going on in the streets before they make it into the main status of the rap scene, but they know that this is... Uh, a market for them to go up and get views on YouTube, get followers on Instagram, get clout as they say nowadays and everything. So when you look at the whole spectrum of it, I look at the record labels as they capitalize off the beef more than anything where it's like, hey, we'll sign you once you get hot. Get hot, build you a buzz, get your millions of views up, get your clout get your following up, and then we'll actually throw gasoline on that so you can get all your music and this ops and everything all you want to. Some of the labels possibly do go tell the artist, hey, man, we want to chill out on the this and the dead a little bit or we want to calm it down. Some is like, hey, we don't give a fuck. Put that shit out. It's going to sell. The risk is, the reward is way worth the risk to us to where, hey, if you go to jail, you get locked up, Hey, we not finna be associated with it anyways. Nobody pointing the finger at us. We just collecting the check. But as long as we can capitalize and flip our investment that we put into you, we would rather you stay alive and not die so we can make money on you longer. But if you do pass away, then fuck it. It's all about numbers with these record labels. That's the business side and they mindset. Profit, profit, profit. That is all they care about. They're not going to take care of your family when you get locked up. They're not going to be holding you down when you go to jail, when you get convicted of these crimes or none of that shit. It just is what it is. So what Tax Stone put, more people dying from drill rap than getting rich. The only people ain't dying from it tend to be Caucasian and working corner offices promoting dead people. Drill rap getting dancers killed, fuck drill rap. A nigga that can spin like that should never be killed. Hook knows men in offices watching the destruction it's causing and not even saying a word and then be the ones to not bail the artists out and claim no involvement. Wake up, young niggas. Stop sucking these white man penises for aftermarket diamonds and two-year-old Bentley trucks. Now, he's basically saying, stop looking at these dudes as the savior, sacrificing your life, putting everything on the line. And all you getting is a record deal in the end of the day when it's materialistic things. But that's easy to say 
from a grown man perspective as opposed to 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 year old when this is what they see that gets on, this is who they see getting the deals, this is who they see getting the most views, the niggas that's doing the dissing and got the controversy. This who get posted on the blogs. So it's like a cycle now. Now, DJ Drewski for Hot 97 that came out and said, and this is all really coming from, you know, uh, T. Woo death, condolences to his family, where he was just a dancer in the drill scene, to my understanding. From what I've seen him as, he was in a Pop Smoke video, the 504, real entertaining, high energy. I don't know if he actually did music. I don't want to be wrong in that. But he was shot and killed. Now, he active. The situations come from the streets before it touched the music. Like I said, before a rap song was ever created, niggas was killing each other in the streets. But the music business is exploiting it to they motherfucking larger picture of the green dollar. So C -Dop, uh, DJ Drewski had this to say. If you make drill music, there are a lot of drill songs without dissing your, your ops or smoking on your ops. Step up your pen game and creativity. No reason why every week someone is getting locked up or killed. I can't change the world, but I can not I can stop supporting the nonsense. I admit it. I'm a fan of the drill records. It's supported from the beginning, but it's only getting worse. Shaking my head. I'm not supporting no more diss gang music. If you're dissing each other in the songs, don't even send it to me. I don't care if the artist sends it, the label sends it, your big homie sends it. I will not support or play any more disc gang records on the radio. We are losing too many young men and women in the streets. So this is the thing where people are going to say, well, that's not going to change nothing. I've seen the responses when he posted this up and it hit the blogs and stuff. True. But what he's saying is he's taking accountability, fam. I'm not going to take tell nobody who has a voice and has a platform where he's pushing it. This is what you call the exploitation of it. Where I know this is doing harm. I know this is causing harm. I know there's no good that comes from this. Yeah, we gonna bob our heads, we gonna turn up. They gonna do it in the streets anyways. But he personally feeling like, man, I'm playing these records knowing that these kids is out here dying. What Tech Stone is saying, these niggas is getting all this money off these niggas knowing these kids is dying. And you're not even going to see their face, though. They just going to get rich off of it. Crazy thing to say. But like I say, man, this the game we in. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. We got more videos, more everything. One thought.